Uh, it's like 6.35. I woke up a little bit ago. I'm going to go to the restroom. And then I kind of woke up kind of irritated. Coming to terms with like some decisions that I have made recently. Some things I tweeted about that I didn't really want to talk about. In some ways I still don't really want to talk about it. Though it's causing a ripple pool of damage. So it may be in my best interest. I've also buried the information and what happened under a bunch of autism tweets. Because yes, I am on the spectrum. I'm really loving all this stuff I'm coming up with for masking. It's so interesting. I have done it for so long. You know, you don't even know. You know? I'm super dehydrated. Had crazy dreams. I've been dreaming a lot about this person I met at the gathering. <sighs> I don't understand why they keep invading my dreams. And they basically won't even talk to me. Super trust issues. A lot of childhood stuff is coming up. And again, that whole uh, insecurity versus intuition. Although this is bringing back like memories, you know? Like I was in like some toxic relationships. And this is like one of the main things that makes a toxic relationship, in my opinion. And that's the lie. <sighs> My intuition was telling me that these people were talking to other people. And that I wasn't getting all the information. And in the past, the person would deny, deny, deny. This first one isn't super denying. I'm not even certain. And part of me doesn't even care about that stuff, too. I mean, I just want the truth, and I think that's what bothers me the most. Is the fact that people won't be honest, and that they can't even be honest with themselves. Uh, I feel like I should just like let it off my chest, you guys. So as you know, I was already in like a breakup process. And yes, I said that I wasn't going to date, or be with anybody, or and be celibate, and... That was totally the route I was going until I got to the gathering. And then, yeah, I had a situation where I totally caught feelings. And there was cuddles. And cuddles led to lovemaking. And the lovemaking made it uh, officially the first time I ever had sex with a professional wrestler. Which is also, like, a huge no-no, by the way. Like, it's been, like, it's a, it, on my personal never-do list, basically. Because that is, like, not the person that I am or I'd like to be. Although, at the moment, it seems like an extremely great idea. Because, as a child, you know, this seemed like my dream candidate for a partner, you know? Or, like, I really got off on the idea of, you know, like, I could marry a wrestler. And then, like, we could have, like, a wrestling family. Right? So that was there. And then Juggalo thing. And then, yeah, they had long blonde hair. And that's another secret egotistical thing that, yes, I kind of want blonde children. And it's a recessive dream. Yeah, yeah, right? So, anyway, so I meet this person. And literally a few days without, after meeting this person, I actually end up booking them an airplane to me. Which cost me 380 bucks. And I put it in their name. And they didn't ask me for this. And. Like. I had this fantasy that I was going to have a week of. Straight. Epic relationship. If that makes sense. I don't know. I figured I was going to be done with school. I'd have a week with this dude. And yeah. I thought I would take him to like. All these Airbnbs and 
all these places that I always wanted to go and to have like relationship type experiences because I had such a nice experience with this person. I thought that we could do like all these couple things that I'm just like dying to do, you know? And then like, yeah, I was willing to even pay for everything just so I can have those experiences because like I've been lonely and I've been wanting human interaction. Like literally I like cried after human interaction <laughs> And I'm not talking about the lovemaking part, although, yeah, there are some emotional times there, too. Although, like, I'm obviously there's people that want to touch me. I just don't want people to touch me. It's part of the autism thing, too. Though, like, I'm very selective who I allow in my field. And I felt like this was a good person. And, like, now with all the stuff that's happening, I'm starting to wonder. And let's go on with the story, shall we? So... I start to realize that this person, um, you know, is in a financial position that I was a while ago, you know, and I wanted to help out and like, I realized like, oh my God, I'm paying all this money for all of these rooms and all this stuff. And this person sees this and that meanwhile, they're struggling to like to pay basic things like child support and their electricity, you know? And so I started to wonder like, maybe like this is stupid, maybe I should do something else, you know, maybe I should, like, help out with some other stuff instead, and then, like, I started beating myself with my thoughts, like, maybe this is me enabling him, you know, if I pay for all of his bills, how is he gonna learn to take care of himself, what was he doing before me, and then, of course, we start getting a little bit closer, and then, um, he asked me for 150 to pay the electricity bill, otherwise they're gonna turn it off, and of course I do it, and then now people are beating me up, telling me that maybe he's doing meth, or, doing other things with the money than other than what he told me and basically after I sent the money I have gotten about 10 text messages since and mind you that this is someone that had been on the phone with me for four hours a day since I met them although I had also given them extra information letting them know that I had been on the telephone with Zach I'm very honest and transparent, although in doing so, it allows people to take advantage of me. And then he swears he's not ignore me and that he's with a so a friend's family. Like, someone passed away and now everyone's getting together. I don't know. I keep seeing them becoming active on Facebook and, like, you know, it lets you know when they're active and they're on and they keep signing on and off. Like, all of my text messages are being neglected, and I've probably sent a hundred text messages. <sighs> and the last text message I sent yesterday was about how, you know, I won't be contacting you again unless, you know, I hear from you. <laughs> and I haven't heard from them. It was driving me nuts seeing them active on Facebook, so I unfriended them. And, like, I should not be getting emotional or even care this much. Just my ego is mainly, like really destroyed you know because now this $380 plane ticket floats out there yeah I paid 150 I guess he's embarrassed that like I vented to people that are close to me or I guess publicly in general about the situation because of his shadiness I just wanted to know some truth and yeah I don't want to have to keep this on secrets like what does that say about it in general exactly if you want me to hold this back he has nothing to say to defend himself I just feel like he's making all this time to call his three kids, right? It's two baby mamas. You have time to call your kids. It's just that, like, I feel like if you really love me and you're really all about me, that I just kind of fall in that same category. And if I don't, like, don't tell me that you love me. Don't tell me that you want to be with me and we're going to be together long term and we're going to move to each other's states and all this stuff, you know? Like... I can't stand when someone says one thing and then their behavior completely contradicts everything that they have just said. People don't realize when their thoughts and their feelings and their actions don't align with one another or when they're lying to themselves. He kept telling me that I keep thinking the worst. (laughs) And DTS told me that you'd be surprised how many times the worst is true. That's like the greatest thing that came out of this fight actually is the fact that I was able to actually uh I talked to DTS and Zach again. Which obviously I do need to be moving on and not having them as romantic 
partners, although it was nice to have them as friends again and, like, to put things in perspective for me in ways that I wasn't seeing. And, you know, like, they're both pretty biased, you know. They're not interested in me anymore. They have somebody else. (laughs) I just still can't help but, like, be completely devastated. And then, by the way, I bought Zach this book. It's a book I'm supposed to read, and actually I have two copies of it right now because... Kitty sent me a copy to give to my dad. And that's another thing I was going to do with this kid. I was going to drive down and meet my family. And frankly, part of me just wishes that, like, he would come around and that, like, yeah, tell me the bullshit stories again. <laughs> like, I want to go back to, like, the really good feelings I was feeling before. Like, those feelings of falling in love. I'm addicted to love, and that's what this book is about, actually. He told me to read up to page 70. I bought Zach the same book. I need to do that. I've been procrastinating. I'm supposed to go to class today. I missed class yesterday. I wasn't supposed to do that. In some ways, I did it for Wolf because he needed me. And really, I felt like an enabler because if I didn't drive the car, then he probably wouldn't have went on the trip. And then he wouldn't have lost gambling and... I've just been crying a lot, and, like, right now, this second, I feel like I wish that I could just bawl, but it just won't come out. And, frankly, I have a friend, Mosh Pit Mike. (laughs) Mosh Pit Mike reminds me so much of this Tech 9 song was one more time. Because I see him looking at Gary Galaxy, who cries so easily, and I know that Mosh Pit Mike just wishes that he could just let it all go. And I know what that's like, too, though not to his extent. He's a super powerful soul. I really like him as a person. There's a lot of people I really like as a person, and there's very select individuals that I'm willing to, like, make love to and to bring into my toroidal field, and then, yes. I, You know what else I realized, though, is also having this person is, like, I feel like he's exactly what I thought I wanted. I thought I wanted somebody to take care of, to pay for everything. Like, in some ways, I thought I wanted all of that. In some ways, it's like a manipulation tactic, you know? Be someone's sugar mama. I don't really want to do that either, though. I don't really want someone to take care of me either. In some ways, I used to want that. I don't really want a codependent relationship. I'm just, like, really tired and annoyed, and I'm, like, hurt. I'm so hurt. I'm so hurt. I'm so hurt. Though, I'm also, like, kind of numb. You know, I've been feeling so much. And you want to know another feeling that I keep getting a lot lately is this withdrawal emotion. Horrible withdrawal emotion. And I'm like not even on anything. Unless I'm actually getting withdrawal from cannabis, which I suppose is possible. Speaking of, so my my piece is missing, which I thought I went to bed with it in bed. Which I'm pretty sure I did. Yep, I did. I just kicked it around. I'm finding it broken up in pieces, which is another thing that bothers me about this piece, by the way. That's the worst thing about it. I kind of just want a basic $20 one again. This one's so, like, attention-getting because it's pink and yet everybody always knows what it is. It's the first one of this morning. We can bake. DTS has also given me a hard time because I'm going backwards. Because I had stopped and been clean for eight months, and now here I am doing it every single day back to my childhood thing. <sighs> my Reiki master basically says that I'm doing it because, um, you know, things aren't so good right now, and just it makes things better. It makes colors prettier. And Come on. Come on. Inside. Come on. Please. I want to go back to bed. Please. In. I don't. So I think George is throwing a hissy fit because he doesn't like the new Iams. He would rather Meow Mix. However, Meow Mix is like fast food for people. And now they like refuse to eat the new food. <sighs> Which sucks because it was like a $14 bag of food that I paid for. <sighs> hey, you know what I want? You want to make me happy? That's something that I really want to do that I won't do more for myself. And I've told you it before. I want a custom license plate. I think it's like 150 You should totally send 
And in the notes say, please get your plate. <laughs> I love you. I gotta go.